Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you're unable to install this update that is KB5067036 or KB5067931 because of this error code that is 0x800F0991. So if you're receiving this error, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to retry the update. When the update fails, if you see the retry option, hit retry and then check. If that does not work, restart your computer and after the system restart, you can check still not working then pause the update so go to windows update and then here you can see pause update pause the update and then resume the updates and then you can check still not working then start these services now for this you can type in services in windows search box and then click on services now find app readiness make a double click on app readiness set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on OK, make a right click on app readiness and then click on restart. Now find Windows update. So scroll down. Here you can see uh, Windows update. Uh, make a double click on Windows update. Set this to automatic. Click on apply. Click on start if highlighted and then click on OK. Make a right click on Windows update then click on restart. Now find background intelligent transfer service, make a double click, set this to automatic. Click on apply, click on start if highlighted. And then once done, make a right click and then click on restart. Now you can try to update your Windows 11, still not working. The next step is to run this command. These commands are provided in the video description. Type in CMD in Windows search box, make a right click on command prompt app, make sure that you run command prompt as an administrator and then click on yes to allow. Now copy the first command, paste it over here, hit the enter key, all the commands are provided in the video description. Now over here, um, this process will take some time and uh, this will run a scan. Once the scan is 100% com complete, copy the second command, paste it on the same window, hit the enter key. Once the second scan is 100% complete, then run the third scan. Copy this command, paste it over here. And once the third scan is 100% complete over here, then restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can check. Still not working. The next step is to use Microsoft Update Catalog. Now for this, you can go to Microsoft Update Catalog website. The link is provided in the video description. Over here, write down the name of the update. If you're facing error with this update, KB5067036, then you can write down the name of this update or if you're facing this KB5067931, if this is not installing, then you can write down this update over here. Whichever update is giving you error, you can search for that update and type in WINVER in Windows search box, then click on WINVER run command. And over here you can see the version, version is 25H2 in my case. And then you have to check the system type. So go to system in Windows settings, scroll down, go to about option. And here you can see 64 bit operating system. Now, so for me, it's a Windows 11 version 25H2 x64 base system. Now, if you have Windows 11 version 24H2 x64, then this is the right one for you. For me, this is the right one. And then click on download over here. And over here, click on KB5067036 and then let the download complete. So let the download complete. Actually, two files are downloading. So let the download complete. Once the download is complete, uh, you can click on this file. Follow the on-screen instruction and you can install this update manually and then restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can check. Still not working. The next step is to use fix. Uh, Use option fix problems using Windows update. Now for this, open Windows settings on your computer and then go to Windows update over here. So go to Windows update, go to advanced option, scroll down, go to recovery option. Here you can see fix problems using Windows update. This will reinstall your current version of Windows. Your apps, files and settings will be preserved. So click on reinstall now. Now this process will take some time and once this is done, you have to restart your computer and after the system restart, uh, when you go to update history, you will see Windows 11. If you have version 24H2 repair version, you will see the repair version. If you have version 25H2, you will see the repair version of 25H2. 
once this is done now you can you can click on check for update and install all the updates still not working the last step is to use media creation tool now for this you can open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website here you can see media creation tool click on download now and then run this exe file to run this exe file and then you have to click on accept over here so click on accept and then by default windows 11 would be selected click on next select iso file over here and then click on next you can save it to desktop save let the download complete this process will take some time and once this is done click on finish option and let this close automatically it will take a couple of seconds so maybe a minute once closed now you can go to desktop make a double click on windows iso file and then now you have to uh, make a double click on setup file and then run this file click on yes to allow and then click on next click on accept over here and then here you can see ready to install by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked over here when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer so make sure this is checked and then hit install after the installation log into the computer and then you can try to update your windows 11 so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to install these updates successfully on your windows 11 computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel